Dear student, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, everybody? I hope you are all fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am also fine, alhamdulillah. Today, I am going to take an online class for the student of class 10, Sabdik Islam and Moral Education, Chapter 5, Lesson 16, Topic Muslim Contribution to Mathematics. I am Imdi Abdus Salam, Senior Teacher, Iskari School and College Papta. The student are to this topic Muslim Contribution to Mathematics. Now, learning outcome. After this lesson, a student will know about the Muslim contribution to mathematics, will get an inspiration from the life of the Muslim mathematician. Now, Muslim contribution to mathematics. Mathematics is regarded as the base of science, the contributions of the Muslim to the conception, growth and developments of mathematics is unforgettable. Many Muslim shavins such as Al-Khwarizmi, Ibn Haysam, Umar Khayyam, Nasiruddin Tushi have acquired fame in this discipline. Now the contribution of Muhammad ibn Musa al-Kharizmi. Muhammad ibn Musa al-Kharizmi was born in 780 AC in Khwarizm. He is the most famous scholar in mathematics. He is called the father of mathematics. He is also the inventor of algebra. The Europeans later on introduced the terms algebra is conformity with the title of his book on this subject, Hisab al Jabar wa al Mukabala. He accumulated in this book more than 800 examples. He evolves the six formulas of solving equation. Its translation in Latin was read as a textbook in European universities from the 12th century CE onwards. His book Kitab al-Hisab al-Adad al-Hindi is on arithmetic. Many later mathematicians such as Omar Khayyam, Leonardo, Ferronanzi, Master Jacob, and many others have been deeply influenced by his innovative genius. Now the contribution of Hassan ibn Haysam. Hassan ibn Haysam was an ophthalmologist he was born in 965 AC. He wrote more than 100 books on such diverse subjects as philosophy, astronomy, medicine, mathematics, etc. His seminal book on optic science bearing the title Kitab al-Manajir has immortalized him. It was the only book in the Middle Ages on the science of light, scientists and researchers such as Roger Bacon, Neulardo, Kepler and others base their research on this book. He refuted the wrong concept of the Greeks on the refraction and reflection of sight. He has shown it with proof that it is from external objects that ray of light are reflected in our eyes. The rays from the eyes don't make things visible to us. It was 
he who invented the magnifying glass. Ibn Haysam has extremely discussed the science of dynamics long, long ago. Although modern science lay their claim on it, there were variations in the weight of matters depending on the atmospheric weight, pressure, and heat. He discussed gravitation in his book. It is believed that it is Ibn Haysam who first presented the idea of gravitation, although Sir Isaac Newton is regarded as the propounder of the theory of gravitation. He passed away in 1044 AC. Now the contribution of Umar Khayyam. His name is Umar bin Ibrahim al Khayyam and he is shortly known as Umar Khayyam. He was born in Persia in 1048 AC. He was a mathematician of the first rate. His kitab Al Jabbar wa Al Mukabala is an immortal work in the domain of the mathematics. Umar Khayyam brought about extraordinary advancement in algebra by analyzing the formulae of cubic equation and other equation of advanced level and by categorizing them in conformity with their respective definitions. He displayed in this field past more skill than the Greeks. He wrote many books on arithmetic and astronomy also. He passed away in 1122 AC. Now the contribution of Nasiruddin Tushi. Muhammad Nasiruddin Tushi was born in 1201 AC at Tush in Persia. He wrote a total of 16 books on geometry, trigonometry, and astrology. He separated trigonometry from astrology and discussed plane and circular trigonometry. His books on mathematics include Mutawasitat Bayan al Handasa wa al Hayya, the middle books between geometry and astronomy. Jami al Hisab bit Takhtul wa Tura, summary of the whole of computation with table and earth. Kawaid al Handasa. Tahrir al Usul, etc. He passed away in 1274 AC. Now the teaching. We shall strive to make contributions in different disciplines of knowledge and science like the Muslim scholars of the past. We shall build up our life accordingly and bring our country and nation on the road to progress. Another homework. The contributions of the Muslim to the conception, growth, and development of mathematics is unforgettable. Explain this statement. Allah peace.